In this video, we are going to take a look at contributor settings in SharePoint Designer and how they can protect SharePoint site from unexpected changes. We will start with an administration view of the Internet portal. We want to limit the number of people with access to make changes to the portal, so we have created two SharePoint groups. The Internet Contributor Group, which has only Luis Bonifaz as a member, and the Internet Designers Group, which has just the administrator as a member. Let's go back to SharePoint Designer and take a look at how to use these new SharePoint groups in the contributor settings to help us control access to the portal. We'll click on Site, Contributor Settings to open the Contributor Settings dialog. As you can see, there are already a few contributor groups that are defaults here. For our portal, we want to create some new contributor groups. First, we will create a new group with view only access to be our default by clicking the Add button. We will call this group Readers and link it to the Read permission by selecting the Read Site permission and clicking the Link button. Now, we need to change the settings in the folders area. We'll change the Allow Editing option and leave the list of folders empty. Next, we will uncheck all of the options in the Creating Pages section. In the Editing section, we will change to allow editing text only. In the Formatting section, we will remove all of the selected options. And in the Images section, we will uncheck Allow Inserting Images. That will finish the changes that we need to make for the Readers group. And we will click OK to create the group. Now, we will select the Readers group right here and click on the Set as Default button to create a new default group for the contributor settings. Now that we have a new default group, we can delete all of the out-of-the-box groups that were predefined. Now that we have all of our default groups deleted, we can go into the Region Types area, and we're going to remove all of these as well. Now we're just highlighting them and clicking on the Remove button. This actually allows for an additional level of control per region type on top of what the contributor group controls. This would allow you the ability to control formatting options available in the text region versus the text and image regions, for instance. The next step to securing our intranet portal is to create our new com contributor groups for our new permission levels. Now what we'll do is we'll click on the Add button again, and we'll go ahead and create our contributors group first. We're going to link that to the intranet contribute permission by hitting the link button there. We'll take the defaults on everything here. What that's going to allow us to do is edit all pages in all folders limit the types of pages that we can create, allow most of the editing and format options, as well as restricting the amount of interaction that can actually happen to the SharePoint site. Now we'll go ahead and click OK to create that. And for the designers group, we'll go ahead and click the Add button again give the group a name. We're going to go ahead and link it to the Internet Design Group. And then we're just going to check the Allow Unrestricted Use of SharePoint Designer. Now what this is going to do is basically give all the users in this permission level full access to all SharePoint Designer functionality for the SharePoint site. And go ahead and click OK to create that. Now let's go ahead and click OK to set our contributor settings into motion. Now you'll see that SharePoint Designer is communicating to the SharePoint site to set those uh, contributor settings. Now that we have created our new contributor settings, let's go take a look at them in action. As you may remember, Luis was only given internet contributor access. Let's take a look at how SharePoint Designer behaves for him. We'll take a look at a remote desktop that is opened with Luis logged in. And we'll go into SharePoint Designer and open the Internet portal.
Once the portal is opened, we can see that Luis is logged in with contributors access and that it has detected the contributor settings. If we click on the site menu, you will see that the contributor settings have restricted all of the site related tasks. Let's bring up the contributor settings task pane and we'll go ahead and click on the view your contributor settings link. We can look at the permissions levels that have been given to Luis through the contributors settings that we had set up just a little bit ago. Now we're going to go ahead and click on OK and close this. And then we're actually going to click on File, Close Site, and close down this access to the SharePoint site. In the background, we're going to add Luis as an internet designer and give him unrestricted access to SharePoint Designer. As we reopen the internet portal site for Luis, we can look at the site menu to see that the permission levels have been raised.